My call sign is Wizard, and we're going to go over some tips and tricks today for frag nades and molotovs on PUBG PC. That's Player Unknown Battlegrounds for PC. So, right now we are in the training map, and we've already collected some frag grenades and molotovs. So, first things first, if you hold G and move around the mouse, it will show it will help you select which one you want to do. I don't like that method, but that is one way you can do it. If you press 5, it automatically equips your nade or, or molotov, whichever one you have equipped at the time. And if it's not the one you want, you just tap 5 again and it switches it to the next one that you, that you have. So right now we're going back and forth between molotovs and frag grenades. So starting with the frag grenades, if you just hold the left mouse button, it pulls back the, the nade, not the pin, just the nade in your hand. And you can then just throw it. That is a regular nade throw. After five seconds, it will go boom. Now, if you pull back the, the nade and press R on the keyboard, it will cook the nade. And then, if you hold it too long, it will go boom. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and cook it again, and we're going to count to five. Oh, I had to press five again. Press R. One, two, three, four, five. Right on five is when it blows up. So normally, if you're going to do a short range nade, you want to throw it at the fourth second. If you're doing a mid range nade, you'll do three seconds. Longer is two seconds. Much longer is none to one. So we're going to try to get these different rocks and see where it goes. So this one here, we're going to hold it for three seconds and then throw it. One two, three. And it blew up just before the rock. So let's try for uh, two, two and a half seconds. One, two. That was more right on. So now you're thinking you probably only need to hold it for one second or none for this next rock. But you have to throw it at a higher angle to get the distance. One. Okay, and let's try it without cooking it at all. Okay, so that was actually more distance. So distance, you can get it by either jumping or running with it and jumping. That will actually go farther. See, it went much farther. But now, let's get it right to where we want it. So I'm not going to aim too high. I'm going to aim right here and jump. That should get it with the rolling distance. It went down the hill, so you got to adjust the hill. That rolled right on the rock. There we go. So now we're going to cook it one second and then throw it. And that should blow up just a little sooner. There we go, right on it. So you adjust as you, whenever you're practicing, you adjust as you throw so you know where it's going and, and you get more familiar with it. So, like, let's say we want that rock. That's going to be one and a half to two second cook and a th straight throw. Could have cooked it a little bit longer. One, two, and a half, boom. Better. Now, let's do something a little bit more uh, tricky. So let's say we need to get that bike down. That is really close. We're probably going to want to toss it, but that ain't going to work. So, so you can toss it with underhand by pressing right mouse button. The right mouse button will go underhand and overhand. Underhand is much closer, but if you cook it for four seconds and throw it underhand, I strongly suggest you walk backwards as you do it. So this, one, two, three, four. That did not move the bike. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three, four. No, it doesn't look like that wants to move the bike at all. <laughs> so let's pick something else to get out here with the last nade. Actually, the last nade, we're going to do something a little bit more tricky. So you can do the Molotov and just chunk it out there as well. But it's not going to bounce. It's going to go straight to that spot. 
So now, let's say someone's standing at the tree and we want to actually make sure they can't go anywhere else. You can actually control the enemy with the Molotov. So we're going to box them in. One, two, three, four. Now, if that doesn't kill him, we can then throw it right in the center. And then he's dead. So you can actually box him in with the Molotov. Otherwise, they have to run in the fire and die. Or destroy the, or then destroy them with the nade in that box. Now, warning. If they have full health, they can run through the fire and come after you. And then heal without dying. So it, it really depends on how familiar they are with maneuvering through the fire. So when they go through fire, shoot. Don't rely on the fire to kill them. And I hope that helps some today on, on nades. We will go into more advanced nade throwing into certain locations and stuff, but not today. Thank you for your time, and I hope you liked my videos. If you do, please press the like button on there and go through and do some more.